welcome back to my kitchen in today's video i will be showing you how i make the original coconut milk yes guys original coconut milk which you can make at home okay you make this by just combining unsweetened shredded coconut with warm water in a blender you puree it into a mixture then you strain it out with a cheesecloth okay guys this coconut milk comes from the white flesh of mature brown coconut which are the fruit of the coconut tree the milk has a thick consistency and a rich creamy texture okay guys you can replace this milk with your with your regular dairy milk okay you can use this milk in your smoothies you can use this milk in your soups you can use this milk in the place of full fat milk okay because it is very rich in fats okay but the good fats okay guys coconut flesh is highly nutritious and rich in fiber vitamin c e b1 b3 b5 and b6 and also it's got some minerals including iron selenium sodium calcium magnesium and phosphorus guys now that you know all about the coconut milk follow me as i show you how to produce this milk okay guys so let's get started for the recipe guys you need fresh coconuts you can see here i have already shredded my coconut i've removed this the hard shell now i'm going to show you what i did i just removed the brownish part of the coconut okay because i want our milk to be very very white pure and clear with no debris so you can see this is how i remove the coconut back then i just cut it into little chunks so as to help my blender okay so guys here yeah, we are just going to blend the coconut with a little bit of lukewarm water to get the most out of coconut milk i would advise you buy distilled water from the shop or spring water okay tap water is very very concentrated for this process so just make it a little bit look warm look warm because your coconut has oil you need warm water to help it release those oils okay so guys you want to go a little a little bit with the water not too much water okay so that it will blend into a smooth paste and you are going to have a rich 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 coconut milk okay guys in any case even if you use a lot of water because what i'm going to show you here the water will stay behind okay at the end of the of the of the process you will see me di discard the water so guys you just blend your coconut into a smooth paste then you go in with your cheesecloth or any clean cloth in your kitchen i think it will work perfectly okay then you're just going to drain that out because you want to milk out the coconut and yeah guys after i must have squeezed out all the milk from the coconut i am going to dry my coconut um the leftovers okay into the into the oven which i will use to make my coconut flour
just go ahead and give that a good squeeze you need all that milk Now I'm going to keep the chaff aside. I will use it to do my coconut flour. Okay guys. So yeah, I will just go ahead and repeat the same process until I'm done with all the coconut meats. So guys you can see here yeah, my coconut milk is ready but it is not ready at this point some people can leave it like this but guys this stage has got too much water remember we use water to blend the coconut so guys you don't need that water in your coconut milk okay so what I'm going to do here I'm going to cover up my coconut milk and I will leave it in the fridge overnight tomorrow morning when i bring out this coconut milk from the fridge then you will understand what i i meant by this is not the real coconut milk okay so guys let's just go ahead and put this in the fridge and come back tomorrow meanwhile i want to show you how i do the coconut flour here is my my baking tray there okay guys i'm just going to line that up with some with some um, parchment paper just so that it doesn't stick to the pan then i will spread my coconut chaff onto the, onto this pan then i will leave it in the oven for about one to two hours okay and when i take it out it will be very dry and that will be my coconut flour i will use it to make pancakes i'll use it to do my coconut bread or whatever thing i need if a uh, substitute for i will use my coconut flour okay guys it's very simple meanwhile i'm going to leave the coconut milk in the fridge overnight then i will show you there after come So, it's the next day guys, here comes our pure coconut milk, 
you see what i'm going to do i'm going to scoop out the milk which is on top and there you can see water underneath yes we don't need that water what i'm scooping out now is the pure organic coconut milk okay guys unlike cow's milk coconut milk is lactose free so it can be used as milk substitute by those with lactose intolerance me inclusive okay guys if you are someone who is prone to acne on their face pimples on their face i will advise you go for coconut milk because those pimples on your face also are an indication that you are lactose intolerant because your body cannot digest cow's milk the undigested food comes out in the form of pimples on your face rashes on your body running rumbling tummy each time when you eat milk okay guys this milk is also a great substitute for those who practice vegan diet those who do not eat meat you can see how pure clean white my coconut milk looks okay guys this coconut milk is very very delicious tasty it can last in the fridge for up to a week because there is no preservative in it okay guys that will be all from me today until next time guys i will see you all in my next video please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel i will be bringing you many different recipes every week okay so like i told you guys coconut milk is very delicious it is also good for those who suffer from cholesterol high cholesterol if you have belly fat this is the milk for you to consume not cow milk okay this is a proper choice for you if you, you if you want to live overall a healthy lifestyle go ahead and make your organic pure coconut milk okay guys i'm checking out see you next time bye